Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Caitlin and in this video I will show you several different ways to make chocolate ganache for a drip cake. Share with us in the comments what method you use for making your chocolate ganache. When making the chocolate ganache, you can use white, milk, or dark chocolate. The type of chocolate you use will determine how much heavy cream to add. I will also show you a few methods for applying the drip to your cake. Continue watching this video to learn how to make a chocolate ganache using real chocolate and candy coating. Let's get started. I am going to start by showing you how to make white chocolate ganache using real chocolate. Measure one cup of chocolate and add to a bowl. Then measure three tablespoons of heavy cream into a liquid measuring cup and microwave until it starts to boil. This will take about a minute. Once the cream has been heated, pour it over the chocolate and use a spatula to press down the chocolate so the cream is covering most of it. Allow the hot cream to melt the chocolate for about 3 minutes, then stir together. If the chocolate is not completely melted after stirring, microwave in 30 second intervals until the chocolate is melted. Be sure to stir between each interval to evenly distribute the heat. One method that can be used to apply the chocolate to the cake is a squeeze bottle. Fill the squeeze bottle and set aside. This ganache can also be colored using oil-based food color. Add your desired color to the ganache and mix well. A tipless bag can also be used to apply the ganache to the cake. Place the bag in a tall cup and fold the cuff over the top of the cup and fill with your colored ganache. Seal the end of the bag using a bag sealer or a twist tie. To apply the ganache to the cake, gently squeeze the bottle to create a drip, then release pressure and move over about an inch and create another drip. Continue this process around your entire cake, or you can create just a small section. As you can see here, this thickness allows the ganache to easily flow down the cake and create drips in varying sizes. The next ganache I am going to make is with dark chocolate candy coating. Use a scale to weigh 7 ounces of dark chocolate and fill a liquid measuring cup to the 1 quarter cup line. Microwave the heavy cream until boiling and pour over the chocolate and let it melt for 3 minutes. Stir the chocolate and cream together and microwave if the chocolate is not fully melted. Add this ganache to a squeeze bottle or tipless bag, then drip on the cake. This consistency is slightly thinner than the white chocolate so you will need to add less chocolate to each drip. This method and measurements can also be used for milk chocolate candy coating. If you are using white chocolate candy coating, add two to three tablespoons of heavy cream instead of a quarter cup. For the final technique, I am going to show you a one to one and a two to one ratio with real milk chocolate. 
Measure half of a cup of chocolate and heavy cream. Allow the cream to boil in the microwave, then pour over the chocolate. Let it melt for three minutes, then start together. This ganache will be very thin and will need to set up at room temperature or in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes. You can also make this ganache the night before, cover it with plastic wrap so that it is touching the ganache to prevent a film from forming, and place it in the refrigerator. If your ganache is too thick to drip the next day, microwave using 20 second intervals until it has reached your desired consistency. For the next ratio, place one cup of milk chocolate in the bowl and pour half of a cup of heavy cream over it and allow it to melt for three minutes, then stir together. This first milk chocolate drip is the 1 to 1 ratio that has set up in the refrigerator for 45 minutes. This ganache works best when it is made the day before, so it has plenty of time to set up. The second milk chocolate drip is the 2 to 1 ratio and is thicker than the 1 to 1 ratio, but thinner than the previous chocolate types. If you want your milk chocolate ganache to be thicker, subtract 1 to 2 tablespoons from the heavy cream. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. Your support will help us grow our channel and create more videos. Let us know in the comments what method was your favorite, and any tips or tricks you have when making and decorating with chocolate ganache. If you want to see more videos like this one, check out the Baking and Decorating Tips playlist on our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on our newest products, and be sure to check out our stories for upcoming projects. Our social media links can be found in the description box below. We love to see how you use products from our store, so be sure to tag us in your posts. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.